What's going on YouTube? This is Necrostew and today's Mega Overview video is going to concern Mega Gallade. The Mega Gallade is a Pokemon that really got some interesting changes with its Mega Form. Um, it retains its Fighting Psychic typing. Unfortunately, it just gets the ability Inner Focus, which in doubles is probably a little bit more useful. Fake out is much more prevalent in doubles. Um, in singles, outside of a few Pokemon like Hitmon, Top, or Low Punny, or Mega Low Punny, rather, using uh, Fake Out, you're not going to see that ability coming into play too much. Uh, it is nice that it has an ability for doubles, though. Can't go wrong there. Now, I did get a very nice bump to its attack stat, its uh, special defense, and its speed. With its speed at base 110, it now allows it to outspeed uh, a lot of the tier just because of the way that the speed tiers are centered right now. And a base stat of 165 for its attack allows it to do very, very high amounts of damage without even needing to set up. Um, it becomes a much more potent wall breaker. And then use that in conjunction with moves like Bulk Up or Swords Dance, it can be very difficult to stop. Now that being said, uh, you're going to see Mega Galay generally clustering around a few sets. Um, as I just mentioned, Bulk Up is probably going to be one of the more popular ones, just because it has a nice defense stat, it's probably a little bit above average. With the special defense being so high, you can easily um, give it a very high HP and special defense investment. And since this attack stat is so high, it does not need to have any attack invested. It just gave it bulk up. That can make it very difficult to break through, especially when it has moves like Drain Punch for recovery, and then moves like Knock Off to get rid of other Pokemon's items like Leftovers that would enable them to recover HP alongside it. Swords Dance is much more for immediate power. Um, I can see Adamant being run with Swords Dance. Close Combat instead of Drain Punch. And then of course it does get Shadow Sneak for priority, which would hurt quite a bit coming off of that base attack stat. Um, Gallade, of course, can also run Substitute or Taunt alongside either of those uh, attack raising moves just to give it some some utility to work around Priority Will-O-Wisp or Priority Thunder Wave or, in the lesser sense, Brave Burst from Talonflame if you're expecting it to come in. Maybe you can throw up a Substitute and get a free hit off on it. Um, finally, it does get some nice coverage with the elemental punches through the move tutors. Uh, most notably, Ice Punch, just because Fighting and Psychic are going to be ineffective against a lot of the flying-type dragons, um, or even Landorus, Therian form. Now, some checks and counters. Talonflame, or to a lesser extent, Aerialate, coming from Mega Pinsir, who would, of course, also resist the Fighting-type moves that... Uh, Mega Gallade is using. Just stay away from flying type moves generally with Mega Gallade. Landorus Therian form also comes in with Intimidate, lowers Gallade's attack, and uh, if it's scarfed, it can just U-turn away or hit it with the Earthquake for a decent amount of damage. Um, of course, it does have to worry about getting hit by Ice Punch. And then Sableye or other pranksters that can use Will-O-Wisp um, aren't really worried about the fighting stab attacks. And here, Sableye and Spiritomb for that matter, both are immune to Gallade stab type attacks. So Gallade is left using knockoff or shadow sneak or maybe it's elemental punch in order to get some damage and will basically just get burned for its trouble. Um, you also have to choose between using Zen Headbutt, which has slightly more power and the chance to flinch, over Psycho Cut, which uh, has perfect accuracy unlike um, Zen Headbutt. Psycho Cut does have a high critical hit ratio. Of course, that's nothing to rely on. Now, some really, really good partners for Mega Gallade because it, especially if it's functioning more as a, a wall breaker, Mega Gallade can wear down the opposition very quickly. Uh, and if your Pokemon is at around 60 or 70 H 70 percent of their HP, it's very likely that they can take it out in one hit. Um, some things that take advantage of that are going to be opposing rock t uh, partners that have rock typing, such as Tyranitar and Diancie, that can not only form a, a very potent offensive core um, with using different stab combinations or at the very least uh, with Diancie you can use special type attacks instead of physical but they can also form a very nice uh, defensive core for example Mega Gallade 
being a fighting psychic type is weak to ghost and also it is weak to flying and it's still going to be weak to those fairy type moves and uh, Tyranitar can come in on quite a few of those and Diancy can come in on those flying type moves not fearing much from Talonflame at all uh, so a little bit of nice synergy there uh, Mega Glade really is going to appreciate a cleric though just because it's susceptibility to being burned um, any clerics that can heal those burns or if it's not running drain punch pass it wishes Mega Glade is going to be able to take a couple of hits so being able to give it a wish or a little bit of wish support going to be quite useful at the end of the day. So what do you all think of Mega Galate? Be sure to leave your notes in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next Mega Upload. See you later.